Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited for you to be here because I finally got my hands on the Tati Beauty Palette. Cannot wait to give it a try. Tati Westbrook is definitely the reason why I was inspired to start my own YouTube channel. She's just so much fun, so real, and she was always putting out great product reviews and tips and tricks and all that, and I've been following her for a couple years now. She first launched her hair, skin, and nail vitamins maybe a, a year ago, I don't remember exactly when, but now this is her first time coming out with actual makeup. She started off with this palette, and it is her Textured Neutrals Palette, Volume 1. So yes, let's just take a little peek -see here. So what she did is she has six neutral colors in here, but then she did them in four different finishes. So Memory over here is going to be kind of like your black color, and then it comes in matte, sequin, metallic, and then glitter up here on the top. Ritual is going to be your brown. Story is going to be kind of like your burnt orangey beautiful color. And Soothe, Soothe, <laughs> Soothe is going to be kind of your good, taupey, great crease color. Aura is going to be your light, creamier color. And Pout over there is going to be kind of like your magenta maroon color. And they come in all four of those finishes. So I think that's really cool how she did that. I've never really seen another palette where it's just the six colors, but then have six different finishes. Of course, I'm very intrigued by this top glitter row. I wanna see how that performs because I feel like sometimes glitter shadows like that don't really stick too well to the lid and everything. But this palette is $45 and I feel like it's a very good size and very, it's actually a lot heavier than I thought it would be. And it comes with the nice quality large mirror on the inside as well. So yeah, so I've already done a my full normal face of makeup, so I left the eyes so then we can kind of play with the eyeshadows. I haven't even touched any of them yet. That way we can kind of try them on, maybe I can put together a fun little fall look. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, I have some new fall winter hair, and so you know, we'll put together a nice fall look to go with my, my whole uh, winter fall look here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to jump right in. So I thought I would prime my eyes a little bit first before going right in with the eyeshadow. I am going to go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil. It's an eyeshadow primer and color corrector. And it comes just like a little pencil like this. So I thought I'd just kind of Draw some on primer on right on the lid. Then I just will work it in with my finger. Okay, so I thought I would start with Soothe here first, and I'll go in with the matte one. And I thought that that would be a nice, just little, nice little crease color to kind of get things started. And I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M504 brush. It's a really nice, fluffy blending brush. So I'm gonna go right in with Soothe. Right off the bat, it feels really smooth and it's actually not doing a lot of kickback. So a lot of times I feel like matte shades like this kind of fluff up a lot, which I feel like is pretty normal, but this one is not so bad and it feels really smooth. And I'm just gonna work this into the crease. Thank you. 
Okay, so my first thought so far is that it's so nice and blendy and I really like it and the, the color is pretty good for the crease. I feel like this is going to give me a nice base to work with. And just a couple tips when you are going in to the eyeshadow, make sure you kind of dust off the excess so it's not too much color, just kind of right where you set the brush down. And then when you're working in the crease, you definitely want to kind of go from side to side, but working in little tiny circular motions. And then that will just kind of really give you that really blendy crease look, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Next, I'm gonna go in with this MAC brush. It's a 217. I clearly put a lot of love into this because I just realized that you can't even read that anymore. And with that brush, I'm going to go in with Story in the sequin color right here. Ooh, lots of pigment. And then I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a halo effect and start with putting color just lightly up here, but not pulling all the way out into the lid. Just staying on the inner corner and dragging up to the crease a little bit. The sequin is definitely has a little bit more of a matte base, but then a little bit of like gold flex to it, which is really nice. And I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a halo effect. So I'm putting color in the inner corner and then I'm gonna put the same color on the outer corner too. And I wanna make a halo where that means I'm going to leave this space on the lid open. Then I'm gonna go in with the MAC 224 tapered blending brush. I'm actually going to use it clean, as a clean brush and that will help me kind of like blend out the harsh lines. But so far, I love it, loving it. Very, very easy to blend. Next, I'm gonna go in with a MAC 213 brush this is a little bit of a smaller brush that's flat. That way I can go into Ritual. I'm gonna go into the brown color Ritual. And I want to put a little bit more depth of color closer to the lash line. But I'm still leaving the middle part blank right now. If you can see, I'm putting a little bit of the dark color in the outer corner, just to deepen the outer corner a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back in with the 217 back into sequin story. And then using the 224 clean to blend these two colors together. Okay, and then I am dying to use one of the top row, one of the glitter colors. So I thought I would go ahead and go in with the glitter in Soothe, this row right here. And then the area that I've kind of been avoiding and leaving blank, I'm gonna go ahead and try to pack on that glitter right in that area. And I'm going to use the MAC 239 brush to kind of pack in that color on the lid. Okay. 
Wow, that's so cool. So first impressions is it's actually a really great texture. If you can tell, I really was working my brush in there, but not a lot of it has like fluffed out or you know lifted or anything like that the texture is just really nice when i put my brush in it it really just stays the glitter stays really well on the brush where i feel like a lot of times with glitter like this i have to use like glitter <laughs> glue or actually wet the brush so then the brush will pick up the glitter but i didn't have to use any of that because i wanted to see how it would perform on its own and look it's just like staying there and it's Amazing! So I went in more with Story in Sequin to kind of deepen that reddish burnt orange color a little bit more. Then I'm going to go in with the same 217 brush in Ritual, which is the brown color in matte, to kind of deepen the outer corner a little bit more. Okay, now I am going to use the MAC 219 brush. This is a nice little smudger brush for the lower lash line. Going back into the burnt orange in matte so I could put under the lower lash line as well. Then I am going in with the Morphe M508 brush and I'm going into this one, the Ritual in Matte. And just for the kicks of it, then I go ahead and use the same brush, the Morphe M508 into memory, the black matte. And I'm going to kind of use it like an eyeliner almost and just and work a little smoky wing there. Then I'm going in with this Scony Smudger Brush and I'm gonna go back in to the Glitter Soothe here. And I'm going to just pop a little bit more glitter in the lower lash line, but in the middle. Since I haven't played in the metallic row yet, I'm going to go with Aura in the metallic shade as a little bit of like an inner corner highlight and then maybe right under the brow as well. And I'm going to use the MAC 219 little smudger brush that I used underneath. Okay, so I'm liking this look so far. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop on some lashes and a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line off camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. What do you think? So I added some false lashes on the top, a little bit of mascara on the bottom, and I also just put a little bit of a light nude lip gloss on. I am using MAC Lip Gloss in Primordial thought because I had a little bit of a dramatic eye, I could go with a not too dramatic lip. Overall, I cannot say enough about this palette. Like, Tati, we all knew she was a queen. Like seriously, she's my inspiration. I look up to her and she is just so awesome. She clearly just has such a passion for makeup and she has done a lot of the legwork where she plays with a ton of makeup. She does her research, she does drugstore and she does high end and she really just touches and feels and truly has a love for makeup. And I honestly can tell because I just feel like, dare I say it, 
this is probably the best eyeshadow palette I've ever used before. <laughs> I just think it's so ingenious that she does different shades, but then with those shades, she does different textures. And there's just so many things that you could do with this palette. Everything was just so easy to use. Like, I don't feel like I really had to work to blend anything. Everything layered on top of each other really nicely. And the mattes are beautiful, the sequins beautiful. I used a little bit of the metallic in the inner corner and the eyebrow highlight there. And then also the Glitter Row OMG. I've never used a glitter where I don't have to use a glitter glue and I don't have to wet my brush or you know a lot of times some of these thicker glitters I often have to use my finger to pack it on but I just used a dry brush on my dry lid and it's it's staying it's there and not a lot of fallout on my cheeks and ah I cannot wait to continue to play with this. Hopefully you guys like the fall look I created and hopefully it looks good with my new hair. But I will go ahead and do some swatches for you guys so you can see the different colors. This is the color Poet and over here is the matte version. Here is the sequin metallic and the glitter and don't mind here I was playing with them on my arm too <laughs> this is the color aura in matte sequin metallic and glitter Next, we have the color Soothe in matte, sequin, metallic, and glitter. This color is Story in matte, sequin, metallic, and the glitter. This is the color Ritual in matte, sequin, metallic, and the glitter. Last but not least, we have the color Memory in the matte, the sequin, metallic, and the glitter. All right, hopefully you enjoyed those swatches. So all in all, Tati did not disappoint. That girl knows what she's doing when it comes to makeup. And I seriously just love the different textures, love how they feel, love how they went on the eyes and how they work together. Big, big fan. So currently I think she is sold out on her website right now, but keep an eye out for TatiBeauty.com because she will be posting when they come back in stock. Highly recommend you give it a try. Hopefully you enjoyed this look that I created. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you know when I post my next video. But you know, it is fall time, so get those cozies on. I have some good videos coming up, so I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!